What's up guys, it's Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So which one is it? What is the best variation of bench press if you're trying to build a bigger chest? Is it the king of the exercises, the king of the chest movements, the barbell bench press? Or is it the dumbbell bench press? As a lot of people would argue, they feel that more and they like that variation better. Or is it a standing cable bench press? Now maybe you don't even do a standing cable bench press, but I'm gonna make an argument for why you should. But I'm gonna answer the question to this video right here off the bat. And that is, if you want complete chest development, if you want the best chest development that you can get, then you better start incorporating all three. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I'm gonna break down each one for you now. The reason is because each one of them not only provides sort of variations on their strength curve, but they also have certain benefits that are exclusive to that variation of the press. So you wanna make sure you're doing them all. When it comes to the barbell bench press, I did a whole video on this over the weekend on how you should be training to improve your ability to get through your sticking point because that is going to be the weak link. If you haven't seen that video, you can check that out over here. But the idea is that the barbell bench press is always going to afford you the ability to load up the weight a lot more than you'll ever be able to do on a dumbbell bench press. You're simply not going to be able to split the weight between two dumbbells and manage it as much as you'll be able to press on a, com uh, a consistent bar with weight on both ends. You're going to be able to press more in that way. And because of that, you're always going to increase your ability to improve your strength much more on a barbell than you are anything else. And at the same time, you're also going to learn how to recruit a lot more motor units because of that. So that's a, a, there's a real place for increasing your overall strength of that exercise. But then when the dumbbells come in play, you realize there's a major benefit here, although they follow the same strength curve, that the dumbbells allow you to do that the bar does not. And that is, it allows you to get more range of motion from the arm into this horizontal adduction. This plane here that's required for complete chest contraction. We know that with a barbell, even as I get to the top, I'm only about 60 degrees away from the horizontal here. I'm not getting to midline. And if we want even complete contraction, we're going to want to be able to cross over midline. But with a dumbbell, we can't do that either. Because as we start to bring the dumbbells across each other, they're now starting to fall down this way. Gravity is actually helping that to happen. So there's a limit on how much chest adduction you can get. Which brings us to the third exercise, and that is what I have myself set up for here, and that is a cable or a standing cable press. Now, I love this exercise, and there's a reason why. A few reasons why. First of all, it gets us on our feet. And as we train like athletes here, being on your feet is always a good thing. We, if we can learn to press and exert strength in the pressing motion from our feet, that's great. Think about offensive linemen, think about fighters. Being able to you know, be able to exert strength from this position is more functional. The second thing we have is we have the ability to not just end at midline on the press, but we can actually come across and have continued tension. And remember, the band, or the, 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 in this case the cable, the resistance is always going to follow the line of the cable itself. So by having the uh, cable set out to our sides here, we're not just behind our body and getting that resistance to the press, but we're also getting that resistance across our body. So we're able to manipulate the line of force a lot better when we do a cable press than we are with, say, dumbbells or even a barbell. So now we're out here, and let's say we're getting close to failure, and we want to kind of finish this off. What can we do? Well, we've got a built-in cheat that's actually pretty damn safe. I can actually get out here, and if I'm get, having a problem getting across the, my body at this point, getting the uh, hands extended any further, I can actually lean in just a little bit more. So here, lean in a little bit more. Lean in a little bit more. So I'm actually using my body to cheat my way out there to assist the press and get a few extra forced reps. Whereas if I was doing a barbell bench or even dumbbells, I might have to arch my low back, which could be a little bit more dangerous and not as healthy of a, of a cheat. So you can see the fact of the matter though is each one provides benefits that the other does not. And if you want to have a complete chest, then you better have a complete program that incorporates as many of these as possible. And if you want to make that dumbbell have a different strength curve than even the barbell version, hold a pair of bands anchored down below you and press those. Now you've actually overlapped two strength curves. The, the idea here is, without getting too complicated, that you want to understand the forces that are applied to your body through different exercises. And that there's so many different variations, but learning when to apply them all and how to overlap them the right way is key to getting the most out of your workouts. Guys, we put the science back in strength here. I always say that at Athlete Next. I'm happy to walk you through every single workout, day by day, 
and give you my exact plan on how we do it over at athletex.com. If you're interested in it, it's the Athletex training system. In the meantime, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And make sure, I don't care which version you're doing here, I'm sure you have your favorite, but try your best to incorporate all of them if you want to max out the development you're going to see in your chest. All right, guys, we'll be back here again in just a few days. See you.